Hi everyone, Ioni here with Eve's Garden Handmade Soaps. This is going to be a very short video of uh, how I take ash off the top of the soaps. This is just one way. Uh, a lot of times I just turn them over and run them under some, uh, take my hand and wash it off with cool water in the sink. Today I'm using uh, 90% rubbing alcohol with a, uh, a sable brush and I'm just brushing the alcohol on top the soap. As you can see this is a real easy method to take ash off. I've got glitter on top this bar and it's not disturbing the glitter this way. I just give some extra brush strokes to the severe ash parts and then let it dry. So I'll do these and then show you what they look like when they're all dry. But this is just one uh, good way to get rid of ash on top of your soaps if you happen to get it. It doesn't happen all the time but once in a while it does. So this is a good way to uh, get them pretty again without the ash on. Although ash doesn't really do anything to uh, harm the use of soap or it's not bad for your skin or anything like that. It's just a uh, how it looks is all. <laughs> so I hope that will help answer some of your questions. And if you don't have glitter or mica on top of your soaps, just running them under cool water with your fingers uh, upside down. Try not to get it on the sides. I, I just try to do the tops alone and let them uh, sit and dry and that's about it. So have fun soaping. Don't let ash problems be a concern because they're very easy to deal with. Okay, I'm going to let these dry now and then I'll come back when they are so you can see the results. It's only been about four minutes, three, four minutes since I've done these soaps and they're already dry. Alcohol dries really fast. The ash is gone. There's a nice sheen on the top. While I had you here, I thought, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and show you the rest of the process of uh, cleaning my soaps. And that is, I just take a, a peeler and I give the edges a little peel all around the soap. Just gives it a nice finish. And that's it. Don't like to uh, waste soap. I like everyone to get the full <laughs> full bar as much as possible. And that's how I clean and take ash off the soaps. So I hope this helps you. Also a little uh, side on using the uh, sable brush. If you do invest in a sable brush, which, which I encourage you to do because then you won't scratch your soaps with uh, plastic or something rougher, but they, do, they are expensive and they do need to be taken care of. And you just want to rinse it out with cool water, uh, not hot water, because that will uh, damage the glue down in here that's holding the bristles and you might lose some of them. So just cool water, rinse it really, really good. Don't leave it sit in a jar all pushed down like that. But uh, take good care of them. That's my, my advice anyway. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me today. Happy soaping. See you next time. Bye-bye.